All right, so here's the deal. Summer is almost here, and so I don't know about you, but I'm excited to start grilling. So we've got Farmer Noel from Stilly Farms, and he's going to tell us some really great grilling ideas. Good morning, Farmer Noel. Good morning, Christina. So good to see you. Well, it's good to see you <laughs> virtually as well, but <laughs> let's let's talk about fresh produce first before we get to the grilling. Um, I, I want to uh -huh. talk veggies. I want to talk fruits. What's what's in season? What's really good right now? What's coming in great right now are the melons are really coming in sweet uh, uh, here in California. Things are really popping because we've had a warm spring and heat brings the sweetness out in these melons. Mm. Next, right after that, we're going to go into those into those peaches and pears and, and uh, nectarines. All that kind of stuff is going to be coming in probably in the next three to six weeks. And all of it is going to be so good. I mean, I, um, oh, I love peaches, by the way. I just had to add that. <laughs> <laughs> What else do you have? Well, maybe for 4th of July, maybe we'll do a peach ice cream. All right, you. I got it. So I got to wait three to six weeks. Okay, I'm listening to you. I'm listening. Um, you know what I what noticed? What else do we have? All the veggies. The veggies, yes. What Go about ahead. the veggies? So, you know, we're, we're blessed, to, as I always say, with the best, best weather in the world, and we can grow some of the best veggies. And we've got beets and carrots, and corn is coming on now. I got corn on my barbecue. I've been waiting for corn on the barbecue. It's, mm -hmm. it's just one of my favorite things to do. And here we are at Memorial Day weekend yep. and we're doing it. We're having corn on the barbecue. And as you're speaking yeah. right now, I'm actually, I'm, I'm gonna start flipping these over soon. We've got the grill going. <laughs> um, so here's the thing, when you're talking about um, some of the veggies, you know, a lot of us like to make a fresh salad when we're grilling, right? To kind of balance everything. So can we talk about a melon salad? What goes into a melon salad? So, you know, your your light, fresh greens, uh, maybe a spring mix, mm -hmm. and then and, uh, then you get to give something with a little kick. So you put in maybe some red onion, uh -huh. um, and then the nice. sweetness of. In my case, we put some watermelon in this salad. Oh yes, please. And it just it just kind of explodes in your mouth when you when you take that bite and you mix it with the green onion, a little feta cheese, uh, maybe some uh, candied nuts on top of there. I got that. Um, I threw I threw some fresh Staley Farms blackberries on mine because I went out Ooh. here when I got here this morning and picked a, a handful of them. They are <laughs> going to be coming on from this point for the next about seven or eight weeks. We'll have fresh blackberries Ooh. here at Staley Farms. I love and that. That's my way to get I love a fresh salad that way. I, you know, I, I, I really like my burgers and my bratwurst that we're cooking up here too. Sure. Um, but you know, like you said, you got to balance. You got to have balance. Mm -hmm. so, I, um, so, go ahead. You know um, what? I, I noticed wanna... there's also a garnish here. Am uh -huh. I putting this on the salad too? Well, you'll have to tell me what you're looking at. I, I'm looking at a. On screen on a t on my phone. <laughs> you know what? Oh my gosh! I don't. What is this? Is this basil? basil. It's basil. It's basil for basil. <laughs> Yeah, you can. Yeah, throw a little bit of basil. <laughs> okay, I can. I just wanted throw to make sure because I have all the the beautiful ingredients in front of me. I want to be able to use it all. Got to utilize them all. They're all fresh. Well, the nice thing about you know making the salad at home, having these backyard barbecues, is that you do what you want yes. and you make it the way you want, and you <laughs> can set that out. You literally could set out the pieces and let somebody else assemble the salad the way they wanted it as they come over and enjoy your your cooking. Yes. And then, you know, we and then you've got to have a, something to uh, liven the mood up a little bit. Ooh. We uh, we took the, the uh, opportunity to promote those cantaloupe a little bit that are fresh. And, and my wife Stella made you a fresh cantaloupe mojito this morning oh, to enjoy my a little bit of fresh mint. Yes, farmer. No, I I saw this beautiful orange thing in a glass, and I was like, "What is that?" And so one of the producers, they're like, "That it's, is a cantaloupe, cantaloupe mojito. mojito." And it's just, it's so pretty. Yeah, yeah. It smells wonderful too. It, is a, it does. It's very nice. Um, so, you, you get that when you when you with the mint and the cantaloupe together, the smell gets you right before you take your sip, and 
oh my gosh, it's so good. So here's the thing, real quick, before I, might I let have you to, go, uh, sit down. Before I let you go, uh -huh. Farmer Noel, we got a couple of things grilling here. We've got the impossible meats. Yes. We also have the brats. We've got you know the burgers going. If I wanted to pair, because you know obviously we're like beer central here in San Diego, what am I pairing with the 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 hamburger? We've got the brats. We've got the fresh salad. If I wanted to have a beer with it, what do you suggest? So I like something that's not going to be too heavy. I sent uh, to the studio there, I sent a grapefruit weekday. Yes. It's an IPA, but it's not a heavy IPA. Okay. Um, that's from Rough Draft Brewing. That's one that, that you could enjoy all afternoon with your friends. And it's not a meal in a bottle. <laughs> and it tastes really good. I also sent you something that's non-alcoholic that is made with my blueberries and my blackberries. That's that Herba Mate, and that is non-alcoholic there oh. for those that are not drinking alcohol. Craft Kombucha. And that's made by Babe Kombucha. Yeah, Ooh. and it is uh, uh, it is very refreshing on a hot afternoon. Uh, yeah, I'll take And then one. the last thing is another, you know, I'm me, local, 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 Bibwack Cider. Wanted to throw a, uh, a shout out to them with their rose cider there. It is uh, very, very, very refreshing on a hot afternoon sitting in the backyard. I mean, You're I'm slaving. ready over a hot grill. <laughs> I, I, I'm ready. You know what? We've got you know. the grill going. I bet we're going to have a line here shortly. I hope they like this all well done because I kind of forgot about what I was grilling. I was so focused on the salad. Yeah, Whoops. mine are getting that way too. <laughs> all right. Well, here's the thing, Farmer Noel. I appreciate okay. your time. I mean, we are. it's the unofficial start of summer with of Memorial Day weekend here. So thank you so much for joining us this morning. Cheers. Have a great weekend. See you soon. <laughs>